art is for facts and facts of haircuts. Haircuts are gay. Art is for facts and facts have haircuts. Haircuts are gay. I can tell that you're an artist because you have a haircut and you put gel in your butt crack because you're a faggot. I can tell that you are an artist because you have a haircut. I can tell that you are an artist because you have a haircut. You can use your hair as sunglasses because it's like up for your eyes. You can use your hair as sunglasses because you like to cover your eyes. You like to paint and color. You sign your credit card receipts with crayons. You sign your checks with crayons. And you use crayons a lot. Your favorite thing to do is use crayons. You like to buy crayons and stick your penis in the crayon sharpener. You like to eat penis. And you like the smell of melted crayons. Sharia. Oh, yes, yes, Allah. Pardon Allah. Oh, bone me, Allah. Give it to me just like that, Allah. Oh, but don't use the bone of the infidel, Allah. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Allah. Right in the mosque, Allah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Slap me with that Quran, Allah. Oh, pardon Allah. Oh, Oh, Durka! Oh, Durka! 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 Oh, oh, Allah! Oh, Allah! Oh, you make me feel like a little schoolgirl in Baghdad, Allah! Oh, my! Oh, Allah! STDs STDs I want your STDs Grilling all over me I want your STDs Up inside me I want your STDs Crawling all over me I want your STDs Inside me I want your chlamydia I want that AIDS, I want that herpes And the gonorrhea too, I want the STDs Everyone 
you give me want your STDs Because I love you, I want your STDs Crawling all over me, I want your STDs Up inside of me, I want your STDs Crawling all over me, I want your STDs Woo! STDs, I want your crabs STDs, it ain't that bad STDs, let's share everything, my girl STDs, share them with the whole world I want your STDs Crawling all over me, I want your STDs Up inside of my asshole, I want your STDs Oh, I want your baby STDs Up inside my ass STDs 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 I want yours for this song. Tune the cue. Cue. Hit, hit your cue string. That's not a fucking cue. That's not a fucking cue. Just seriously, do you guys not know how to play? Seriously, it's a fucking cue. It's the simplest goddamn letter you can possibly tune to. Why the fuck can't you tune to a cue? We're never gonna be rich and famous. Hey, 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 hey yourself. We're never gonna be rich and famous until you tune that fucking guitar. Do fucking cue. It's cue. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Cue. That's the fucking letter. Not any of the other letters, but cue. That's not. God, you guys are terrible. You're fucking worthless. We're never gonna have groupies. We're never gonna get a record deal. But you can't fucking tune a goddamn guitar. It's the simplest fucking thing. You don't even have to play a song. All you have to do is tune your fucking guitar. That is an H. That is a fucking H. That is not a Q. Oh my god, it's like a whole octave and a half off. It's not a fucking Q. My god, you people are worthless. Groupies will never fucking suck your dick. If you're playing H's and I's there, you need to play Q's to get them wet and horny. You know that's how it works. When those fucking record executive cousins, they don't want a G, they don't want an A, they don't want a Z or an X, they want a fucking Q! No! Every vampire drinks blood. But not every vampire knows where to get the best blood. Ah, ah, ah. If you want the very finest blood, you must get virgin period blood. Ah, 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 ah. I like to go and eat out the girls while they're on their period. Yes. This vampire likes to get his red wings on. Ah, 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 ah. And if you cannot find the virgin on her first period, then you find the tampons in the trash can. One tampon, two tampons, three tampons. Ah, 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 ah. Maxi pad is also suitable, but not as desirable. As fresh virgin period blood. The tastiest of all is the bleeding when you break the hymen. Ah, 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 ah. The screams of pain makes the blood that much sweeter. It gives me the strength 
to eat out even more bleeding virgins. Ah, 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 ah. So, if you want to be a real vampire, you must find bleeding virgin vaginas. Ah, 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 ah. It's the end of the song as we know it. Thank the Lord. One. Gonna poop in your purse, gonna poop in your purse. Nothing could be worse than a poop in your purse. Gonna poop in your purse, gonna poop in your purse. Nothing could be worse than a poop in your purse. Tell me more lawn and a poop in your purse. Tell me make a bed and a poop in your purse. Tell me eat my food and a poop in your purse. Tell me poop and poop and a poop in your purse. I don't wanna poop unless I'm pooping in your purse. Don't wanna poop unless I'm pooping in your purse. Gonna poop in your purse, gonna poop in your purse. Nothing could be worse than a poop in your purse. Poop in your purse. Poop in your purse. Nothing could be worse than a poop in your purse. Poop in your purse. Poop in your purse. Nothing could be worse than a poop in your purse. Go and beat your mother and a poop in the purse. Go and see your mother and a poop in your purse. Go and see your dad and a poop in your purse. Go and see your brother and a poop in your purse. Poop in your purse. Poop in your purse. Can't think of stuff but pooping in your purse. Like to poop in your purse. Only poop in the purse. Gonna poop in your purse. Nothing could be worse than a poop in your purse.
The following song is brought to you by San Pellegrino. It's fizzy water, made from only the finest waters. It's from, like, Italy or some shit. Pellegrino, for pretentious assholes who love insisting on things. Insist on Pellegrino. Biggest, nicest, fanciest hotel in downtown LA. And everyone there, they've got their little thing that they gotta be hoity toity about. Everything has to be fancy and fucking European, and the more gay it is, the fancier and European it is. So people will sit down and they'll be like, um, yes, I'll have a cafe Americano, which by the way is fucking coffee, by the way. A uh, cafe Americano, Americano and. Do you have San Pellegrino? And I'll be like, no, I'm sorry. We only carry Voss. I have a small bottle, 12 ounces, for $6. I have a large bottle, 20 ounces, for $8. Could I get you one? And they'll be like, I suppose that'll have to do. It's, it's only from Norway, okay? It's not Italian fizzy water, all right? This is fizzy water we're talking about here. It's a big fucking deal, all right? I don't want to drink that shitty Norwegian fizzy water. The fizz in it is not as fizzy, and I don't taste as fancy when I drink it. The fancy is a little bit lacking in your fancy water. I want my fancy water with a fancy logo. Even the cap on this fucking bottle is gay. It's got this dumb little flare out cap that you have to twist off and break off the little piece, the, the little ring that holds it on. And it's, it's you, as soon as you open up, the smell of incredible European homosexuality just wafts out into your face and you are consumed by how stupid and fancy this drink is. And you drink it, and you know what? It's, it's fucking club soda, for fuck's sake. Like, the same shit I will give you for free out of the soda gun. And, well, okay, maybe we don't clean the soda gun very often, but fuck you, seriously, it's fizzy fucking water. What does it even do? Like, oh, I'm eating, so I have to have fizzy water so I can burp later? I don't get it. Like, it's, it's a digestif. It's how they do it in Europe. And it, it goes with my cafe Americano, which is coffee, I reiterate. And, um, yeah, basically, if you're gonna be willing to pay that much money for a thing, like, it ought to have some kind of point, some kind of purpose. And, well, I went out one time and I tried it. I was like, you know what, all these people are whining about Pellegrino. Maybe, maybe there's something that I don't understand, you know? Maybe if I try it, I'll be like, oh, you know, okay, I get it. This is why people are willing to pay nine to ten dollars for a 20 ounce bottle of this crap. And so I bought it at the grocery store, and it only charged me $2.99. So, it's not really that fancy. They just like being like seen ordering this expensive and yet nonsensical thing. And so, I drank it, and well, you know what? Fuck. It's kind of refreshing and all. But so is club soda, which I can get in the soda aisle for 50 cents for a two liter. It's the same fucking thing. So, if you want to feel fancy, and you like to insist on things, insist on San Pellegrino, and move to LA, and cut off your dick, and shove it in your asshole, and sew your butthole shut, and just keep it there because you are that level of fag. And shave your eyebrows off and get a tattoo on your face. <laughs> and, yeah. You can't drink normal coffee. You have to drink espresso with water in it, which is coffee. And you can't, you can't eat anything that doesn't fit on the tip of your finger and isn't white. And... And if it, you're scared of things like hand sanitizer because they don't grow directly out of the ground. And, like, you won't let people smoke outdoors where the wind is, you know? And you don't want people to smoke in their cars on the highway because the smell annoys you. And you apparently can't roll up your windows because that's not natural. And, um, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Oh.
Okay, I'm going to tell you a quick story about how stupid people can be when they get power and have no threat of losing their job whatsoever. Uh, I'm currently a student at University of Missouri, Kansas City campus, and uh, I go out there fall semester, and uh, you know, normally I have to drive half an hour to get to school, so I need to park my car somewhere, and I go, and it's like, okay, I'm going to go down to the parking lot to buy a parking pass. But, they say, oh, we decided that this year, we're going to put a limit on the parking pass. We're only going to sell one per space in the garage. Now, mind you, this is a fucking college. It's not like everybody enrolled in the fucking college goes to class at the same time. But, that's how these people think. And it just makes me want to punch these people. But, there's nothing you can do about it. So, it's like, okay... I can't get a parking pass. Why are parking pass limited? It's like, no! Oh, it's because we demolished one of our parking garages. Oh, well, are you gonna build one? They say, no. It's like, okay, enrollment is at its all time high, and you just demolish your parking pass and then park, so where the fuck are we supposed to park? And they're like, oh, you can park in the meters and pay $2 an hour to go to school. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm already paying. $300 a credit hour for your fucking school. So you're gonna make me pay even more just to fucking park? And they're like, yeah, basically that's how it works. Just makes me want to punch people. And so, I use some inside connections I have. I, I know someone who knows an administrator. It's like, okay, why don't you use your weaseling powers to get me a fucking parking pass? in this half-empty garage that they have. And it's like, okay, here it is. Oh, unfortunately, the only one I can get you is only good for night classes. Well, ha, ha, ha. Funny how classes are usually during the day. So, I go to park there, taking a class, being legitimate. It's like, you know, I did everything in my power to get a legitimate parking pass. And they're like, oh, no. It's four o'clock. Your parking pass doesn't kick in until 4.30, so we're going to give you a ticket for $100, because you aren't paying enough already. I ain't going to pay that fucking ticket. Fuck you. But you know what? Apparently, this is life. And so, when life happens like this, I just want to punch life. Fuck you, life. Why did you make shit this way, life? What's wrong with you, life? These people are on the government dole with federally subsidized jobs. And they just like to fuck anybody who tries to do anything to fucking improve their life. And it's like, oh, uh, we weren't taking enough of your money. I, know, I realize you're paying us thousands and thousands of dollars already. But no, uh, because you have a car, oh, oh, that, uh, double it, double it. No, fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking retard. Fucking morning to get these parking passes. True 
true story. I can't make this shit up. It happened. This is life. And it just makes me want to punch life because people are stupid and they do not deserve life. But you know what? They don't suffer consequences for their actions. No. There's no such thing as accountability in this world anymore. And just so many people just need to be punched in the face because they get paid to make decisions like this. Fuck that. Oh, 
This is Brain Stew.
poop cloud. I mean, flush the fucking toilet, dude. Why can't he flush the fucking toilet? I mean, really, is that corn? Was that a mushroom? What the fuck? Is it so hard to do? Flush the fucking toilet! Cloud. 